Welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily morning podcast bringing you the word of life as you wake up to the several possibilities of a new day. May this word stir up your faith and equip you to be victorious. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this amazing new morning, this amazing new day. I hope that the Lord will continue to work on our hearts that we would allow the Lord continual access into every nook and corner of our life. Whenever we allow the Lord to come in and have free access in our lives and allow him to change us and mold us, he fills us with divine grace and divine strength and divine character and all of a sudden we begin to talk a lot like Jesus. We begin to function a lot like Jesus. We begin to serve and love others the way Jesus did. Every time the Holy Spirit transforms us on the inside, we begin to look like Jesus on the outside. I'm sure that that is your goal, that that is what you want to be, that you would like to represent Jesus here on the earth. So the Lord will continue to reveal to us everything in us that doesn't look like Jesus, that doesn't feel or talk like Jesus. For example, God spoke to Jonah, the man of God, the prophet of God, the preacher or the evangelist or the revivalist in the great city of Nineveh. The Lord spoke to him in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 4. It says, Then the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? God is not condemning him. God is not putting him down. But God is asking him a question. Jonah, is it right for you to be angry? This is a question that gets repeated one more time in the same chapter when the Lord asks him later on, is it right for you to be angry about this plant? Now we all know the story of Jonah. He had to go to a place where he didn't want to go so that that people can hear the word and the voice of God. And Jonah didn't want these guys to repent. Jonah didn't want these guys to be saved. Jonah didn't want this city to be saved from judgment. And that is why he tried his best to not preach to the city of Nineveh. And ultimately, God had his way. Jonah went and preached the gospel and the entire city turned around. And the Bible says that caused Jonah to be angry. That caused Jonah to be really upset with these people with the grace of God over their lives, with the love that God showed for the city and this nation. And then God comes to him and asks him this question, is it right for you to be angry? Do you have the right to be angry right now, Jonah? Do you have the right to be upset with me? There are so many things that you freely enjoy from me on that very same day. God loved a tree to grow up and give him shade. And when that tree died at the end of the day, he started getting upset and he started getting angry again. And then God said, you didn't labor for this tree. You didn't do anything. I'm the one who provided this to you. And you're angry that that's been taken away. Now you tell me, is it right for you to be angry that these people are saved? Is it right for you to be angry that these people are blessed? Sometimes as a church, we've tried to withhold the love of God to the world around us because we are angry at them. We don't want some of these guys to be saved. We don't think that they deserve the heaven that we are about to enter into. We don't think that they really deserve a relationship with Jesus. And the Lord is asking us today, is it right for you to be angry? Is it right for you to withhold the mercy and the grace of God from the people around you? Jesus told his disciples, anybody that you forgive, I will forgive them. Anybody that you don't forgive or you withhold your forgiveness, I will also do the same. Which means when we walk around the city and the nation, and we find crimes and we find people violating each other and and all kinds of abuses and all kinds of violence, 
all kinds of vulgarity as a child of god we have the right to be angry at those people and refrain from forgiving them and thus god will not forgive them thus god will not redeem them either but if we keep away that right to anger yes we can be angry at a sin but can we not be angry at the sinner can we still show the love of god to the sinner and release forgiveness over the person that is committing such violent and aggressive crimes in our neighborhood in our community in our cities because according to god's promise every time we forgive someone god will also forgive them god would also extend his hand of mercy and grace over them the reason god is asking jonah is it right for you to be angry is because jonah was a product of god's mercy if it was not for god's mercy jonah would be sinking he would have been food to fishes and whales and all the sea creatures and yet it was the mercy of god that kept him alive till now and it is the mercy of god that we are still experiencing and tasting and enjoying the goodness of God in the land of the living it is the mercy of God that we have the access to God's voice in our lives it is the mercy of God that we are still able to live and breathe the presence of the holy spirit how dare we be angry at the world around us how dare we stop them from receiving jesus and experiencing jesus you may say i have not stopped anybody but by your very act of not forgiving them you've in fact become a stumbling block to the uh, revival that the lord wants to send into your city so today if you can refrain from that anger like jonah did if you can turn away from condemnation from judging others and if you can instead become a channel of god's love with your words in your heart attitude because jonah the way that he preached the way that he evangelized it didn't look like he didn't want god to revive the city with the way that he did ministry it looked like this was the perfect evangelist and yet in his heart he continued to harbor anger towards the place i pray that every anger every unforgiveness in our hearts towards our city towards our neighborhood towards our nation towards the communities that we are called to be a salt and light to it will be removed today in the mighty name of Jesus and as a result revival will once again come there the light of god will flood that community let's pray together father we thank you for your word we thank you for this revelation we believe that we do not have the right to be angry we believe that we are objects of your mercy we are the carriers of your mercy and so we do not have the right to be angry at anybody or anything we surrender that right today in the mighty name of jesus and father we ask for that light of god for that grace of god to flood all those people and all those homes and all those environments as a result of us releasing forgiveness into those environments the love of god into those homes we thank you for this new fresh wave and move that is coming in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen we hope you have been blessed listening to the rema word of god please contact us at pastorpriti.com for any queries or help may the presence of the lord go before you this day